Hi out there. Good to see you once again on this platform. And I bring you greetings from the School of Articulation and Behavioral Alignment Resources. My name is James Komolafe. And the slogan here is Articulation and Behavioral Alignment for Total Expression, where we give the family values 100% attention. And today, we like to continue from where we stopped the last time on the water table masterclass coaching. And today, we want to see your personal distinction analysis as a key variable in digging deep into your water table. From the first video, you will remember that it is all about the water table series. Attaining the heights in life is answerable to the connection to the deeper depth of your water table within. That is the place of your originality and personality at the same time. Refer to the first video for the full import of this. Today, as we discuss on personal distinction analysis, it is an attempt to understand your personal content, where you carry weight, and that underscores your personal identity mastery and management. But you are able to manage yourself well and master yourself. You may not be able to dig deep into your water table. So the short put, like we said, is a heavy weight of rounded iron. One throws in a track and field event with all of the energies inside out. And once it is thrown, the distance so covered is a description of your personal ability that harnesses and engages all that is within you to describe your area of authority, even when it is thrown. So in personal distinction analysis, what are we looking at in definite terms? We are looking at all the matters that make you discover yourself on three counts. Your personality, who you are, your possession, what you have, and your position where you are because where you stand determine what you see and your capacity to dig so these three all together sum up your personal identity so what are the seven reasons for self-identity why must you identify yourself in order to dig into your water table you know what Nobody can dig into your water table except you and you and you. If you will not dig it, wow, it will remain just like that. And all you will be left with is just to struggle on the surface. It's a rat race where you just stand but without being able to dig deep to access and activate all the potentials, the graces, the qualities, and the abilities that lie in the deep of your personal resources. So seven reasons stands out why you must identify yourself first. Identity crisis is the order of the day. So many are faking it out there. No, you can't fake it in the issue of water table. You need to fact it and not fake it. Then two, digging deep into your water table requires your own life. Not in confusion, but in distinction. Your definite life, not the counterfeit. Not even the deviation. Because the deviation, as far as your personality is concerned, is an intrusion from the external point of view. So it takes your original self 
to locate your water table. And you know what? Only a straight line coming out of your deep can be original. Sidelines are not permitted at all. Identity is the discovery of your personal entities without the sympathies of men. This is fundamental. Remember your three entities. Your person, your possession, and your position matter. The evidence of a pointed life without confusion or diffusion is also your self-identity. Personalities without entities realized and released. Some of the non-entity. So, Know who you are and what you have. If you must begin the dipping, if you must begin the digging, you need to know who you are. Standing upright from your real self. When you stand upright, then you can begin the journey to the appointed life. And it is when you are appointed, you can begin to dig deeper down, beyond just standing. What makes you outstanding in life is not just that you are standing like any other person, but your capacity to now take your root deep down into your water table where you can have constant supply. And as you enjoy the same, you pass it to others. So how then can I be pointed in life? And in this first round, we want to show you how to locate your original from your deviation. So that when you are pointed and you are standing straight, you can start the digging deep. Where you are standing straight is a basic requirement to digging down. Your deviation is always a bend from your original self. Now, you look at it in life. If you stand at a corner, wanting to dig straight down how well will it be it will be pretty difficult but when you are standing straight and you want to dig down straight oh you you take that exercise with all of the seriousness there it is then you can discover your cutting edge for the effective dig and 10 simple ways enable you search for that pointed line and this is, of course, going to be the point of research for this second video. So what are those 10 simple ways by which you can begin to discover yourself better and know yourself pretty? One is called terminologies. What frequency your world from the inside to the outside? What do you say about yourself and about things that matter to you? What do you think? What do you imagine? Remember, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So, you see, whatever you are speaking is coming from a depth, from your inside, your very self. So, number two is called tangent. What are you passionate about? What is that thing that is driving you? And where are you driving towards? What do you really value in life? What do you always feel like doing or becoming in life? That is your tangent. And then number three is timing, the time factor. So looking at yesterday, today, and the future, where will you want to invest your time? What is that common denominator from the past to the present and taking you to the future that is always burning in your heart to the outside. That is the time factor. Then we look at terms of imperatives. Where are people hailing or praising you and raising you as a big one out there? You know, everyone has his own state and onions. So where are your onions? Then number five is testimonial. Where do you easily record the successes? What are your personal testimonies? Can you guess? And think out where 
you easily recall the testimonies. Then number six is the tension. Tension. You see, your tension will create an attention for you and describe your focal point in life. So where is that positive anger? You must be angry at something. You see, every man has his own anger. And when we talk about anger, we're looking at the positive anger there. So where is your life driving towards? From the inside, that is where your anger is. Then number seven is technical know-how. What are your areas of competence? Where you can fix it without the stress. What are you competent in fixing? And even before you know to fix it, you are just desirous, wanting to just see how it goes and how you can fix it until you begin to learn it and now you can fix it very, very well. That is technical know-how. It points to your direction as a personality. Then we look at your tangents, talents, of course. We look at your talents. Where are those natural endowment that is just part of you? And what can you say are your three major talents there? Where you can just do it at least effort without struggle. Those are your talents, those natural skills and endowment. And then number nine is treasures. What is choosing you from the inside to the outside? What do you really love? In life, you just must love something uh, and something loving you back. So what are your treasures? What do you deeply fall in love with? And you will love to see about yourself. Ten years to come and even today. So that's your treasure. Because where your heart is, there your treasure. Where your treasures are, there your heart goes. And last but not the least is a place of triumphs. Where do you easily record the breakthroughs? And what will you do to fix it for others, giving your goals and your timeline? When you juggle this, turn together and turn the searchlight inwards. Wow. You are going to come up with the proper definition of yourself. And when you can do that, then you become pointed and ready to dig down your water table. It's not enough standing. You must take your roots down and make all of the difference out there. I'd like to thank you so much for participating in this masterclass coaching. Answer these 10 questions and submit the same for analysis. At the end, you know what? We will arrive at your personal distinction. See you at the discussion segment later and the subsequent video in a fortnight. Feel free to introduce this short put masterclass coaching to someone out there. Thank you so very much. I see you again.